I, I never lie. lie. Hello? Okay. I never lie. A famous phrase said by the actor we praise, but what if his ways are not what he claims them to be? From the heroic Leo Davidson in Planet of the Apes to the friendly John Bennett in Ted, he seems so perfect at first gaze, but what really hides behind the mask he keeps so close to his face? Mark Wahlberg, a renowned Hollywood actor with $400 million to his name, but was, was he, he ever, ever the one to take the blame? Imagine being scared to walk home from school, to play with your friends on the street, to bury yourself in the soft sand at the beach at the young age of 12. Well, 15-year-old Mark made that a reality when he, along with his friends, demonstrated their brutality towards three African-American kids walking home from school. He pelted them with rocks while chasing them on bikes, screaming that they should die because he found the color of their skin to his dislike and believed they had no right to walk in those streets. But he did not stop at that. The next day he came back and decided to repeat his acts when he discovered the same children he attacked on a field trip at the beach. He hit a girl on the head with a rock, injured her so severely that her teacher became worried and hurried to call an ambulance. He violated the civil rights of these kids, and did he pay for those deeds? He walked, walked away from court with a flimsy promise that he'll never do it again. again. On April 8th of 1988, 16 year old Mark Hayan Fenslikudin roamed the streets of Boston searching for alcohol to steal. But when he encountered an innocent Vietnamese man by the name of Than Lam, he insulted him with racial slurs and knocked him unconscious with a five foot long wooden stick. That cruel day, he encountered a veteran from the same Asian country by the name of Jonathan Trid. Mark was so adversely shook by his slant-eyed looks that he had to punch him in the face due to his disturbing race. Pleading guilty to a felony assault, Mark was sentenced to prison for two years, yet he only stayed for 45 days. But, but did Mark, Mark stop? stop? He really did not. In 1992, he fractured the jaw of his neighbor and once again walked away from court unscathed. He claims he has changed, but for 20 years, he made promises to make amends to all the victims whose lives he almost brought to an end, but he didn't lift one finger in that direction until his acts got in the way of him opening a fast food chain. Yet he was not the only one who has done terrible things for fun and then spun a tale to hide his trail of dark truths. When rock star Marilyn Manson hid his exes behind a lock, concealed behind the confines of a box, nobody did anything besides talk. He still claims he is innocent, but the screams of his victims say different. And while he roams the streets walking free, his victims fall at the hands of trauma and deceit. In the fashion industry with 33 years under her belt, supermodel Naomi Campbell is a worldwide famous name who lives with the shame of a violent past from assaulting her employees and pretends it is nothing but a memory. We are so quick to point fingers and blame all the people we claim should have no right to exist. But how come we always find a way to justify and turn a blind eye to the actions committed by the individuals who set an example for millions? Aren't these the people that thousands of children look up to every day? Aren't these individuals that dictate how we should behave? Aren't they the ones that should be at the top of our moral standards? Then how come we continue to let their violent acts slide instead of dragging them to court to get fairly tried? We, we claim, claim we're all equal until there's change. These words mean nothing. nothing.